this is what I get for typing this up when I was fucking drunk off my ass. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, starting this again. Do you know what zone means? A zone is a place set aside for a special reason. A bus zone is a place for people to wait for the bus. A school zone is the part around the school where people in cars are supposed to drive slowly. Can you think of some other zones? And then we can either think of some zones or we can uh, continue with uh, IOSIS. And uh, there's, the, there's the stone zone. Stone zone. What's that? Yeah, that's that place where you go when you've been smoking loads of pot. Ah, there's this place yeah. called the fun zone. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, a place that kids go. It's like a little. Uh, it's kind of like a chunky cheeses. Yet another place to pick up hot girls. <laughs> Especially if they're in a Catholic uniform, huh? Oh yes, very much so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Pope Father comes in at the worst times, man. I uh, <laughs> He's a diva. He wears a dress. <laughs> Yeah. Baby, don't knock until you've tried it, hon. <laughs> I wear dresses, yeah. I don't know. But you ain't wearing anything right now. I know I'm not. All I am, I'm wearing a headset. Nice. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, are we ready to move on? Yep, iOS is pages six and seven. Okay. And this is where this hot picture comes into play. What What picture? Uh, the one uh, with, the, uh, with the changing in the bath. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Now, I bet you figured out what private zone means. Do you know who can touch your private zone? You can touch your private zone. Yeah, baby! Sorry. (laughs) If you hurt a part of your private zone, because Master tells you you should, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Mummy or Daddy may put medicine on it to make it feel better. Rub it in. Um... (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mummy or Daddy might touch your private zone if they are helping you take a bath or helping you get cleaned up. Yeah, you've got to get rid of the head cheese and stuff, you know. Yeah. If you don't need help, you have the right to say, thank you, I can do it myself. Have you ever seen a baby make a big mess and need his or her diaper change? I've seen adults do that, for fuck's sake. Messy babies sure need help. A big person who is changing a diaper can touch the baby's private zone to clean him up. Right. Next scene. And sick. Sick, 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 sick. Ah, every little boy's fantasy with a hot nurse. This yeah. is great. All right. <clears throat> I feel like I should be doing my Mr. Rogers impression for this. <laughs> Try it. I've never heard your Mr. Rogers impression. Well, hi, neighbor. How are you today? <laughs> That's a cross between Mr. Rogers and George W. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 please. George W. Rogers. Let's do it. All right, all right. <clears throat> New character on Party FM. Well, here we go, boys and girls. But big people, even mommies and daddies, need the good reason for touching a private zone because it is private. When you go to see the doctor with your mommy and daddy, a doctor might need to touch your private zone. And it's a lot of fun when they do. Some children need to have their temperatures taken in a part of their private zone. <laughs> Bring is, out the rectal thermometer. <laughs> we call that a pain in the ass. Sometimes you get a shot in your private zone. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Ow. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Ouch. Perhaps you need to go to the doctor because some of part of your private zone hurts. But well, even a doctor or a nurse needs a good reason to touch your private zone because it's private and it belongs to you. Loading picture. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nobody else can touch your private zone. Not even your friends. If they do, you may say, Don't touch. That's my private zone. You may even yell, Don't touch. That's my private zone. <laughs> you have the right to keep your private zone private. 
if they try to touch it anyway, you may tell them because it's your private zone. Your private zone is more important than a private room. It's more important than Tommy's private shelf, whoever Tommy is. Your private zone is more important than Susie's private drawer. It's more important than Mommy's or Daddy's private letters. Oh, I'd like to read those. Your private zone is more important than a private toothbrush. It's more important than whatever you mention of yours, whatever you remember of yours, is private. Your private zone is more important than anything in the whole wide world just because it's yours. I bet you knew that. And Iosis gets the best part of the book. <laughs> this is oh, the line pic- of the day coming up. Picture, hang on. Hmm. Ooh, there's <laughs> yes. a, a ho- policeman and a horse. Okay, I'm scared now. Yeah, there's something We're creepy getting... going on in that picture, too. That's probably the best picture in the book as well. We're getting into the animal thing now. There's a horse, <laughs> a little girl, probably Fady. And, uh... <laughs> So that's where it all started. <laughs> okay. Who's that cop cupping? There's something in his hand. Oh my god. It's hard to tell in this picture. Um so look he, on his face. He's clearly covering a large boner. Yeah, he's nightstick. <laughs> okay. Well, if that isn't an ambiguous picture. Thank you, by the way, to Marina Miguel for uh that this wonderful picture. She illustrated this book. But did you know that your private zone is even more important than candy? Sex like candy. Uh, Or that it is even more important than secrets. Did you know that if someone touches your private zone and they say, you will get in trouble if you tell, you haven't done anything wrong, you may tell a policeman or doctor or best friend and you won't get in trouble. If someone asks you to touch his or her private zone, yeah, and then says, you're bad, it's not true, it's not your fault, you aren't bad, you may still tell, and you may still tell, there you go, mummies, daddies, and grandparents would want you to tell. Because they want to hear the hot, hot story. (laughs) Oh, yeah, baby, bring it on. If a person just asks you to show them your private zone, you may yell and tell. You may yell and tell if they show you their private zone. Yeah, baby! Even if they say it is our secret, you may yell and tell. (laughs) That kind of secret should never be a secret. For sure, you have the right to yell and tell. (laughs) I like that. It looks kind of... uh very angry kids with a very ferocious looking dog ferocious is the word yeah, the dog looks pissed that is cool All right. It's like, well, that's because he's like wearing a scarf around his neck or a necktie or something I'd be pissed too well that's because he ripped the clothes off of a pervert <laughs> good dog Fido oh not Fido our Fido oh god <clears throat> You can tell a teacher or babysitter or anybody in the whole wide world until someone listens and helps you. Did you know that? You sure can. A private zone is the only thing in the whole wide world everybody has. Everybody in the whole wide world has the right to keep his or her private zone private. Especially you. This has been a very exciting reading of Private Zone, a book teaching children sexual assault prevention tools by Francis S. Day. Illustrations by Marina Megal. With your guest readers, DJ Squiggyo, Mike Frankson, and Iosis, without the NNM. Join us again next time on PartyFMRadio.com when we make fun of something else that need not be made fun of but we make it funny anyway. And Jerry Mathers as the beaver. 